they will be facing Brad Keller, who is making his 100th career start today. Way to go. Hopefully you're big, bad Brad Keller, and you are stellar this afternoon. That would be a great pickup for your team and manager Mike Matheny if you could go deep in this game, as deep as you possibly can. And here we go with Riley Green set to lead off against Brad Keller. It kind of quickly 0-2. Oh, yeah. Keller makes quick work on three pitches. So one away, and Javier Baez at the plate. Baez hitting 213 and one ball, two strikes. In there. Strike three call. Back to back strikeouts. Up comes Harold Castro. To the right side, fielded by Nicky, and he'll throw out Castro in an excellent first inning for Brad Keller. They're going to be facing big Michael Pineda. He's making his eighth start for the Tigers here today. Michael A. Taylor at the plate. First pitch, fly ball, left field, fairly deep, but backpedaling. Cody Clemens makes the catch. One pitch, one out, first inning. So Michael Taylor out number one, and up comes Andrew Benintendi. 98 hits. Andrew with a 317 batting average. Ground ball into the shift for Baez. Smoothly done, two away. It's a 6 3 put out from the second base position, and now Bobby Witt Jr. Flair to center field, and it's going to drop for a hit. That's all right. I told you middle of the field, didn't I? Yes, you did. All right. He answered. He listened. He heard. Good job. Hey, look at four seamer. There's his grip. Not over the top. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, three quarters. Still, that adds a little bit of deception. Right-handed pitcher against the left-handed hitting Pasquantino. Bobby goes. Pitch taken. Throw by Barnhart. Not in time. The three-two strike three. He got him with a fastball near the outside edge, according to home plate umpire Corey Blazer. Yeah, fastball just on the edge, and Tucker Barnhart does a really nice job of getting the on the outside of that ball and and sticking it right on the outside corner. And uh, really big pitch there on uh, Pineda's part. Willie Castro, a 2.55 batting average. Castro sends one to left center field, and that's down. Willie Castro. Has a two out knock here in the second. The first of the day for Detroit. Castro a soft single into left center. So Spencer Torkelson will be the batter. There goes the runner. And that'll skip by Gallagher. Castro thought about going to third. That was good aggressive base running. But Gallagher got to the ball up against the screen by the on deck circle third base side. A steal for Willie Castro. Three and two, two out. Keller to the plate. And a swing and a miss. So good slider gets Torkelson swinging. And Keller has struck out four. So two up and two down here in the fourth inning. Tigers only have one hit, and it's off the bat of this man, Willie Castro. High fly ball left field near the line. Benintendi is coming in. Junior's going out, and it's going to be Benintendi in foul ground. Is it Benny coming up with it? Yep. Wow. Basket. He makes another all star like play. Making a basket catch, glove palm up on a nice long running play, and that's Keller's. First out in the air. Brings up Vinny Pascantino. Struck out looking in the first. Oh, that ball is smacked. High and deep and long gone. Vinny Pasquantino, his second major league home run. Both have come off Michael Pineda. Oh yeah. Brad Keller got him a run. And it was a beauty too. Nice easy swing. Four seamer middle has it had a little more lift than the previous home run in Comerica Park but that's beautiful big guy hips those hips turn like that that, that provides the power and that was a no doubter. Riley Green leads off for the Tigers sixth inning one nothing Kansas City line drive base hit into center off the bat of Riley Green Tigers need that need someone to hit the ball hard somewhere. Riley Green just hit the ball hard to center field. The second ball that the Tigers have squared up today. 19 batters in. Baez has struck out and walked. A chopper to short. Witt's got just one play, and it's the first to get Baez. It's almost like a sack right there, yeah. slow hit ball. So now with one out, Riley Green is in scoring position. RBI chance for Harold Castro, who has grounded out twice. There you go, Harold. There's get one down. to center, and it is down. They're going to hold Riley Green at third. That was a good call right there by Ramon. And here comes Miguel Cabrera with runners at first and third, one out. Gallagher setting up low and away. The pitch swing and a soft tap. Did he get a piece of it? It goes by Gallagher. 
He did not get a piece of it. I thought I heard contact. It's a wild pitch that scores Riley Green. Miguel Cabrera strikes out, but he very strategically swung at a pitch that bounced so, <laughs> so that Riley Green could score. Yeah, no, I think I think the contact that you may have heard was the ball actually hitting the plate. Brings up Vinny Pascantino. He's responsible for the lone Royals run with his second home run coming with two outs in the fourth. The runner goes and the throw well offline and safe at second base with his second steal is Whit Jr. To left field. Here comes Bobby. He will score and the Royals are back in front two to one and the bases are loaded. So it'll be Cam Gallagher with the bases loaded two down. Gallagher doubled down the right field line his last time up. And he swings at the first pitch, grounds it to Baez. His throw is in the dirt, and Torkelson drops it, and a run scores. Yep, that'll be scored in air. E6, no RBI. And he didn't have his, his, his feet in place. He kind of threw it on his heels there. He didn't really have a lot of momentum going in, so he's well short. That's put a lot of pressure on Torkelson, who didn't go out and get it. He decided to stay back and couldn't find a handle. They'll take the run. Got Barlow comes out of the bullpen pitching in his 36th game. He got the win on Friday night and it was so good to see him get two days off. He almost came in in the ninth yesterday just warming up in the bullpen. But should have a fresh arm out there for the top of the ninth. Kansas City trying to close it out. Willie Castro the last hope for the Tigers. Tigers need a base runner to bring the potential tying run to the plate. Spencer Torkelson waiting on deck. One hopper to Bobby. The Royals win game one of this doubleheader. Three to one the final score. Scott Barlow gets the save. Pasquantino had a great game.